Hello, I am Reverend Jeremy Kevin Hammack. I am the executive pastor here at the city of Abraham Church and Ministry. I want to give you just a snippet of a history about the city of Abraham. Actually, the church was formerly named St. Abraham Baptist Church, and we were founded in October of 1949. The building that we are in now, we have been at this location for 50 plus years. And we have been here worshiping and serving the community here um, at 1124 West North Avenue in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. Our building itself is a historical building here in the city of Baltimore, and it is approximately 110 years old. We've had three pastors um, with for our church. Our founder is Reverend William, uh, Reverend Matthew Hill. He was our first pastor. Succeeding him was Dr. Clarence R. Yerby, and our current pastor is Pastor C. Richard Yerby. We have been here not just serving the community that comes to the church, but we have been faithful in serving the community here in Baltimore in the 21217 zip code. We have had, uh, we have a food pantry where we give groceries to anyone who signs up. We try to give them what we have. We have canned goods and we have frozen meats that we can give out to them. And then on occasion, when we are able to get fresh fruits and vegetables, we receive those from food banks in uh, the state of Maryland. And we uh, are here, right out here on the front of the church, and we serve every and anybody fresh fruits and vegetables. We also take care of the um, needs of our children. Once a year, we have a back to school project where we give away school supplies to all of the children that need school supplies. In 2019, we had our first fun fest, and we had games, we had horseback riding, it was food and fun. It was a huge festival, a great time, all for the community. We also offer, we also offer educational, educational activity. And we are probably one of the only churches, if not the only church in the city of Baltimore who has a GED program. We have been helping people, not just in this community, but all across Baltimore City. We are helping people get their GEDs. We have been as successful that many, some have gone on to see their GEDs, and they've also gone on to complete other courses of their education. We understand here in the city of Abraham, we're concerned about the whole person body, soul, and spirit. And because we are con concerned about the whole people in person, we have a mental health ministry. That's right, people. It is a mental health ministry because we understand, especially in the season of COVID-19, that many people are struggling emotionally and mentally. We have two professionals on our ministry staff, uh, a licensed uh, social worker, and we also have another young lady who serves as our research coordinator, and she is working on her PhD in mental health. So we see we are giving you the very, very best that we have to offer. City of Abraham Church and Ministry, it's a great place to worship, a great place to work, and a great place to, to play. So we invite you to go down 1124 West North Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland. Our worship services are Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m., but not yet because, <laughs> because of COVID-19. But you can catch us on our website, um, www.cityofabraham.org, and follow us on Facebook Live every Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. We love you. We hope to see you soon. Hello, my name is C. Richard Yerby. Uh, I am the senior pastor of the City of Abraham Church of Ministry right here in Baltimore, Maryland. 
That zip code is 21217. I have been the pastor. I am the, actually the third pastor here of the city of Abraham, a church of ministries. But my father used to be the pastor of before me. Amen. He served as pastor for 40 years, and I am embarking upon 10 years of being a senior pastor here at the church. Uh, I just want to share with uh, with all of you the vision uh, uh, that God has given me for the city of Abraham. First of all, when I came to this church, our, the name of the church for years was St. Abraham Baptist Church. Then God gave me another name for the church. We changed the name of the church to City of Abraham Church and Ministries. The reason why we changed the name to City of Abraham Church and Ministries, this is a place where you can grow spiritually as well as get the needs of to the people that are in our community. Unfortunately, we have a, uh, many people in our area, in the 21217 area, dealing with a lot of pain. We have a lot of single mothers. We have uh, a lot of drug activity, people who are hungry and homeless in this community. And God has given me the vision, church and ministries, and we want to be a well-rounded church to be able to embrace everyone's need in our community. That's why we changed the name. God has given me that title, City of Abraham Church and Ministries. So we are uh, definitely on the move here. Uh, God has blessed us. We Right now we have our GED program, which has definitely been a blessing. We have been serving uh, Baltimore City. Uh, we've been serving people. And I believe that we're probably like the only church that I know of in Baltimore that have GED program. Uh, a young lady by the name of Lynn Pender Spear is that she's doing an awesome job and uh, they're doing awesome when people are graduating. So that's a major thing because in our community, as well as Baltimore, we have a lot of people who do not have their diploma, who, um, who did not complete uh, school. So we give them an opportunity to get the GED so they can go out and get a, uh, a job. Also, we have the food pantry here at the church. Uh, we're able to give food out to the individuals in the community. That's been an awesome blessing that we've been able to help out our community. God has given me great vision. We have uh, also our mental health. We deal with mental health. People are dealing with different uh, things, dealing in their minds, suicide, and all these type of things. A lot of, even with the drugs, a lot of these things are things that people are dealing with with their mind. So we actually have a great team here of people at the city of Abraham that have been blessing, amen, and helping people into mental health area. We also are trying to our best to move a little further because we want to be able to have counselors here at the city of Abraham where we can uh, satisfy every single individual needs. We have people who are suicidal. We have people who have been molested. We want to be able to help the soul of the individuals in our community. So we're so grateful that God is doing something great in our church at the City of Abraham Church and Ministries. I'm so grateful just to be the pastor here, the senior pastor, and we're doing a great work here in the City of Abraham. So if you're not busy, hey, listen, stop here at the City of Abraham. We are, we're not in church right now because of COVID-19. But we do have our virtual services. If you want to go on Facebook, let's go to uh, Facebook City of Abraham Church of Ministry. You'll find us there at 1134. You can go to our website, cityofabraham.org. You can find us there. Come fellowship with us. We serve a great God and He's worthy. God bless you. And I was great that I was able to share with you the vision of the City of Abraham. Thank you so much.